I know! Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, I got him! I won, Maxis! I went to a split screen! <laughs> Alright, so you guys are out here, and today is something about, again, is another video idea I wanted to do, which is how to get this sword slash upgraded. And obviously right here you can see, we gotta finish the rituals first, which is very easy. I've done a video on it before. I may link it in the description below if you guys are interested on looking that up. So today is a two-in-one video. So basically what you want to do is you want to get in the, uh, uh, uh-oh. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to get in the waterfront one here, and then you want to hit footlight. Now, when you get in the waterfront, hit footlight, and you want to look over to your right. Now, as you can see there. Now, like I said, I like to put text thingies there. Like I mean in those texts is those are completely randomized. They're almost never going to be the same. Well, sometimes they'll be the same, but they're random. So... It's not like, oh, this combo is it, and that's it. No, there's nine different combinations, so it's like nine times three. I'm not really good at math, so there's like 27 to 30 different combos that you can have. So that's a lot of combos. So all you have to do is ride it, like I said, from waterfront to footlight right here. And then once you get here, all you want to do is you just got to wait for it, get back in, and you want to take from footlight to canals. And again, you want to look to your right. So when you're like looking forward as it's moving, you want to look to the right. Just keep looking to the right. Do exactly what I'm doing. It's very easy. Oh, another thing. A lot of people are going to, you're probably going to be like, how can you remember that? Well, if you're like me and have a photographic memory for only like maybe five and under things, I have a photographic memory. If you don't, then just use your phone or something. Like there's number three. Just use your phone, take a photo like the Easter egg in Grodd with a bomb step. We had to take video of that because that appears so fast what ones to have to diffuse. So yeah, once you have all three symbols that you saw token photos of videos then you want to just go to the basement area through the portals which i opened during the ritual and they're very easy just use the beast to open it so now you want to hit the symbols in and that was the one then the two and then the two small ones with a stick so now you have that open now you have not the sword yet but you have the egg so once you get the egg which i will grab in about a very few seconds here you want to go ahead and oh before you got to make sure also to break open these boxes which you'll need to put the egg on four locations so just break those open with beast grab over here grab your egg it'll say you picked up the egg now make sure and do like what i do here because there are some times when i forget to put the egg in there and i get a lot of kills and i'm like oh boy so yeah like i said there it'll take about 10 to 12 total zombies and wait let's listen yeah when you hear when you hear that that means it's done or when it's glowing like if you don't hear you can just look and it and you know what oh my god i forgot to if you put it there and you start filling it and you don't know if it's done just walk up to it and if it says hold x then you're done so yeah so yeah break that open there at the canal area the first one was in the basement area right before you do ritual so just put that there little arnie's helped me a little bit because i was getting a little nervous uh, at uh, specific points because there are moments where I could get like really anist and what anist is is uh, pretty much the equivalent to effed because I don't like to swear anymore because of YouTube it's not enjoyable to swear anymore so yeah even in real life I don't swear much all right so now when we're filling this I can just maybe talk to you guys about a few things uh yeah, I'm literally going insane trying to film and finish all these videos as fast as possible. Because here is my goal. When Black Ops 4 comes out, I want to do like what I did with Black Ops 1 and 2. And that is film videos like the day or the day of or even like 2-3 days. I want to film and put a lot of zombie videos out because I know those will get views because when I posted black ops 2 zombie videos the day of a thousand plus views on every video i posted so obviously that's that would be cool to do and since if they're zombies obviously then i'm a zombie guy so i've done pretty much like many easter eggs past present and i'll be doing future now i shouldn't have opened that door because i looked i was like oh god 
I'm like looking at that door. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I managed to get Man of War in that, which was pretty sweet. I picked that up. Well, you don't see. I cut it out because I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, also remember to have them close enough because if they're too far, they will not fill the egg up. Yeah, I said there that this was not good because I'm like, really? I'm like, come on. I'm like, the Margo spawns. Oh, yeah, do not try to do this when the Margo's there. He'll down you instantly. So he'll get anist really bad. And I think we're right here. I was like, please no, please no. I'm like, oh, God. I'm like, look at that shit. I'm like, look at him. I'm like, oh, dear God. I made a risk there. I'm like, YOLO, and I ran by him. I'm like, please don't use a, an attack and red screen me. Because there are moments where I walk by him and he swipes me. My screen goes red. I'm like, oh, shit. All right, now we're back to here again. We're going to fill this up. It's only going to take, like, uh, I think it's, like, a few more left. And then I'm done uh, filling this one. This part's pretty easy. Oh, and P.S., this is for the Easter egg, too, the main Easter egg. You know, I may end up doing a tutorial of the main Easter egg because, like, I've done, like, the ritual. I've done the sword. Once the sword's done, you just have the hold X on the certain book, grab the flag, cover it, and then go in the pack room. And then, yeah, I don't know. I probably won't just because yeah so here i got really lucky because i got the ray gun and i'm like oh my god i'm like thank you danger closest and i really am upset that still phd oh uh in black Ops 4 there better be dolphin diving in phd or there's gonna be like ultimate rant and raves about it so you place it there again there's been moments where i didn't place it i got a lot of kills i'm like oh you gotta be kidding me so this is why I would I miss PhD because I love doing specific areas that are like really kind of difficult. I was like playing it really dangerous there because I'm like oh shit I'm like dude I'm like oh my god bro so definitely uh definitely something. So once you have all four fully charged up, fully done, you put the egg there. Now it will not grab the sword as you can see, so you have to hold X again, which again has been another moment where I get, I fooled myself there. So yeah, there's all the names of the uh, specific characters that will grab this. Kind of like the Apothecon that has four names, but it's not specifically for character like the sword is. So Apothecon names will be just randomized, whoever uh, grabs it of the four. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. It's pretty cool. It acts almost like rags. You like go down and then that's it there. So the next thing is to upgrade this. Now you're going to want to get the black egg. Now this part is, uh, I just want to let you guys know that this part is specifically for characters. So what I mean by that is if you're the girl, you'll go here and the ghost with the black egg will be there. If you are Nero, which is the magician, you will go to the beginning area, which is Easy Street area, the beginning area, and you will get the egg here, like right there. That's where it'll go. And then if you're the boxer, Floyd, you'll come down to the waterfront there, you can see in the boxing gym, and the egg will be here for your character if you're Floyd. Now, if you're my character, which is Jack, uh, you're going to want to come over here, and you'll see this. Now... Yeah, that's kind of the indication. Now, when you're playing with four people and you're doing this, it might get confusing because you'll be like, oh, there's one in each. But don't worry. Just do what I follow what I just said. The specific characters, the Jack character, mine is at the uh, at the uh, canals there. So you just follow that the canals. Let me first say by uh, doing the black egg step is very easy. You just have to be able to have, you just need a good gun. Like I said, there's four specific red rings on the ground. There's the one in the canals that I just did, which was the first, was the second step, charging all these up. Now, the other thing is if you get downed when you're doing this step, the Margo will just disappear and you'll have to do it again. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you can do it again the same round. I'm not really really sure that's the thing I'm not sure about I know that you only can do one of these around one of those red rings around so that's pretty much it like again like I said the black ring uh, the black egg if you're my character you'll go to the canal if you're the uh, Nero's character the magician you'll go here in the very beginning area up easy street there if you're the chick you will go down to the uh, 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 footlight area 
and if you're Floyd the boxer you'll go down to the waterfront area to the gym so basically yeah so after the first ring you will spawn it'll spawn two margos at a time and I think the third and fourth one will spawn three if you're playing with four people or no it may have spawn it'll spawn one two three and four I think if you're playing with four people but if you're playing just solo like me it'll be one margra two two and two uh yeah so uh another fact that i learned is that when you could when you do the when you do the rituals and you upgrade the sword you will actually be able to do the uh the uh, margua head which is another video i will show so yeah so yeah once you kill it you'll see that is going good but, you know it's pretty easy to get the sword and upgrade it it's you no know, believe it or not you guys I was able to do this like continuously what I mean by is you could see I did the first one there then I started the next round did that one then I had these the apothecan thingies fly in and then the round started right off then I could do then the second then the, this round started so I could do the third one so I'm like all right I'm like we're making some good time here uh yeah pretty much just have a good gun maybe you have a shotgun like me the uh the Haymaker, uh, Shoe Shining 100, and the Brecky maybe have that. Stellar Screech, those are both very good guns. Maybe have Fireworks, because that would be even better to drop them. Now, don't do like me. Well, throw a little Arnie if you need to, like a quick break time to make everything, uh, make sure your guns are all good and stuff. I managed to get them both there, which was good. The reason why I said not to throw a little Arnie is because they face away, like... Even if you try to go, and then when they face away, don't try to run up to them and look at them because they'll just easily be like, ba boom, and you're dead. Uh, the other thing I didn't like is my remote is starting to act funny, which you saw there a little bit that it would, it just goes crouched, or sometimes it goes prone, and it almost gets me down when it just goes prone. I'm like, no, 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 and I'm like, what? I'm like, come on, remote. I will be doing all buildables very soon too. I will be doing how to get the golden shield in this map and how to get the golden uh, silver protect, which is easy just doing the Easter eggs. So yeah, obviously I don't have any footage of that. Uh, so when I show the golden, uh, 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 the golden silver protect, all I can say is like, yep, just do the Easter egg. And once you've done the Easter egg, then you're good to go. So yeah. Just like the, uh, just like Path of Sorrow, the sword on, uh, on Revelations, when I show a tutorial on that, I will not show pretty much anything, because all the steps are Easter Egg steps. Pretty much every step to the point where you can get the sword is the Easter Egg, because when you do the specific point, it'll spawn you in Samantha's room, you just gotta grab the Wisp, and then you put it there, and you'll get the Katana, which is the Path of Sorrow, and all wall and box weapons will be packed so that's cool so once you're done all four and the egg is fully charged go back to where your character go back to your character's specific ritual table like i've said a few times uh she'll uh take the egg back you wait a little bit and just like that you have the sword packed now these sword names uh of the packed sword i do not have translations for them so sorry uh, I do have the names for them, which will be this right here. This, so depending on that, 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 and there it is. So that's character and the sword names that will be that. So uh, this video was pretty fun to make. Uh, I'm getting, I don't know why I'm getting so obsessive compulsive about like adding every little detail in. Like I said, if you go down, well, no, I've already discussed that with you guys. Pretty much discussed everything. I'm not sure the sword's damage though. That's the only thing. It seems like an insta uh, kill kind of weapon. Like rags, rags seem to have like in unlimited damage. So yeah, when you hit the left button, I forgot that you can put away the sword and it'll just be the floating sword, which you'll see in just about a second here like right there and I was like oh my god I forgot so that's about it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching so just like pass listen mother